Hey everyone, Justin here for s, &S Archery. In today's gear video, we have a brand new, new release of an HHA Sports site. Today's gear video, we're gonna be looking at the Tetra Rise X3. All right guys, getting started in today's gear video. In front of me, I have the all new Tetra Rise X3 just released. Uh, before we get started and looking at the new features of this site, you know, just talking briefly about HJ Sports, they've been around for a very long time. We've we've carried them for several years. The feel, the finish of these sites is top notch. So uh, probably the the cleanest, the most high end quality, thought out sites that we sell here at S and S. So fantastic products. And within their sites, we've had the Tetra, the Tetra Max, which basically gave you two sight wheels with a magnifier for your indicator system. And then about a year, year and a half ago, they came out with the new uh, Rise, which was a two pin with two indicators. So uh, I personally love that con pin configuration, having vertical pins just to, uh, for me, I like you know, a clutter-free scope housing. So just like those other sites, the new X3 has all those features of that quality built into it. So uh, when we take a look at what's new, looking at the scope housing, you can see there we have three pins. So this is gonna be very popular. A lot of guys would like to keep the pin count down to three, um, four and five start to really clutter up the scope housing. So uh, three is, is going to be a hit. Um, I just know it will. We sell a ton of other brands, the spot hogs and black golds in the three pin versions. Um, for guys that don't, don't quite feel comfortable with running one pin or two pins, having that extra pin, being able to move the pins up in the housing because they're horizontal, um, not fixed with your top pin in the center, like the rise, it's going to give you a lot of adjustment. So definitely going to be a hit. As far as what we're going to be carrying here at S&S Archery, we're going to basically sell this as a stock site. So the way you're going to see it here with the top pin green, middle pin red, bottom pin green, available in 19 thousandths, and then the smaller pin size is available in the 10 thousandths. What we're also going to be doing, should be popping up on our website any day now, is we're going to have our S&S build. So we've ordered these directly from from HHA, so there's no custom lead, there's no lead times on making custom orders. We're gonna have these stocked up on our shelves. So uh, what we found, what we really like is eliminating the red pin, going to a green, yellow, green pin, but also giving our bottom pin, which for most people is our floater pin. We're gonna dial that down to a 10 thousandths. So two 19 green, green and a yellow 19 thousandths, and then the bottom pin a 10 thousandths green. Another option that we're going to be carrying here at s and is basically a base option with the UltraView mount. So if you're an UltraView shooter, maybe you just upgraded to the new UV3 XL SE scope. You can mount that up on this. So it's gonna fit perfectly on this Tetra as long as you get the UltraView mount. So uh, a lot of different options. Not only are we gonna offer the different scope housings or the UltraView mount and the UltraView scopes, but we can also change the bases on these. So basically what we're gonna be offering is their short base dovetail, which is about four inch dovetail. It is bridge lock compatible. So here my phase four, uh, it's gonna fit right into the bridge lock system. Use the Matthew set screw to lock it in. You have the individual not, uh, divots that you can set the distance on so you can get the scope housing relative to your peep. So another version is the Hoyt mount. So for your guys that run the Picatinny rail up front, I used to have the RX-7, that's going to mount directly on there. So we're going to have different base options. Uh, and then if you're a guy that doesn't need an inline sight, go the dovetail route, you're going to have basically the dovetail mount with the dovetail knob. And this can mount right on the side of the riser. So still utilize all the great features of the site, just mounting up on the side. All right, so getting into the biggest feature of the new X3 is their triple indicator system. So this is uh, very nice to have. No longer are we looking at one indicator for a certain distance using one of our pins as a floater. Now we can set these up to where we can have three of our pins all floaters. So not only uh, is my bottom pin a floater, which is usually my you know, 60, 70, 80 yards, 3D shooting, shooting pin, but now I can look up and see my top pins at 45 or 50, make those shots, 
all adjustable, being able to slide these up and down, sliding this in, you have a lot of versatility. If you wanna run 20, 30, 40, you can do that. If you wanna gap it out further, 25, 35, 45, a lot of options, lots of, po lots of possibilities within this. There is some limitations to your bow speed, just know that, but you got a lot of room with the three pins in the scope. So you can start that top pin up real high, middle right in the middle, bottom pin down low. So you can gap this out probably 15 to 20 yards. So on that note, the triple indicator system is not an add-on piece. So if you have a previous Tetra model, a Rise, anything like that, you're not gonna be able to add this part to your site. So this is built into the body, the way that they've manufactured these, it is site specific. So you're gonna have to go with the new Tetra Rise X3 if you want the indicator system. The, the rest of the site is gonna be the same as your standard Tetra. Uh, like I said, with the, the, the base options, jump back up to the, to the scope housing. We have an adjustable Rio stat. So you can close this fiber optic to la allow less light to hit those fibers. So if it's really bright out or if you need to open it up on a, you know, a dreary, shadowy area, you can uh, expose those fibers. So uh, very nice that you can customize that just with reaching up and twisting it. Oversized bubble on the scope housing. Huge fan of that. Definitely love being able to pick up my level very fast and easy. We do have probably the smoothest dial system uh, rail of any of the sites that we sell with the HHAs. We have a friction lock here on the side. So if you're at a 3D shoot, you don't have to lock it, loosen it, lock it, loosen it. You can just set the tension, go out, shoot a target, dial, shoot. So it's really cool to have. Uh, we have basically a default position, dial that all the way down. And then when I'm doing my side end process, making the adjustments up front on the infinite adjust rail and the plate so that's where my second axis comes in and then third axis adjustment on the base regardless if you have the dovetail or the hoyt mount all right so the last thing we're going to look at on this new tetra rise x3 is our windage bar we have macro and micro windage adjustments so we can move over in big increments or use the micro clicks to really fine tune where we want to hit on target um, you know, taking a like summary, a brief overview of this of this new site from HJ, it's not something crazy new. Um, we just have some added features, but but within those features, you're going to have a lot more versatility with this site. You're going to be able to have a slower shooting bow, really pin gap exactly where you want, or maybe you're have plenty of speed, but you want to just customize. You want to be able to shoot your middle pin your top pin or your bottom pin at any yardage at any given time. Um, just an, a fantastic option. Plus being able to, you know, have um, the ability to run our S and S option, which is going to be the different pin colors, pin sizes, or the ultra view, different mounts for the bases. Um, just going to be a, a, a great site for us here at S and S. So uh, if you guys have any more questions about the new Tetra Rise X3 or anything else in the store that we carry, Please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, we'd be glad to help, and thanks for watching.